Okay, so hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zachary Bushy, and this is like a journey of my life, and I'm like, <sighs> stop saying like so much, Killer's gonna yell at me. But anyway, I'm starting to be a social media marketer, starting an agency with it, and I'm gonna be growing my client base soon. I'm actually growing right now with current clients. I'm like double downing on it. So anyway, less about this and more about today, I will be talking about Instagram strategy. So this will be my Instagram strategy for the business Instagram, not my personal. My personal is just like, I post what I want, when I want, um, have fun with it, it's me. I like to be authentic on all the places, but that's a time where like, that's a platform for my personal, that's something I just like to do. I'm not doing it for money. I just want to be myself there, but this will be a strategy about my, the business one. So let's get into it. So um, I'm going to say a couple things before we start with like, I'm going to break it down by daily, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so far, um, so on, I mean. But anyway, I'm going to be, I'm just going to say this outright. It's good to be, when you're doing social media, you should have a calendar. You should make either you want to do it weekly or monthly or quarterly, whatever it is, make a calendar and stick with it because consistency is key in social media because you want to, you want to get in the algorithm. You want to be there. You want to be present. You want to keep people on that platform so they push your post or whatever, whatever you're on farther so you can, you know, grow. But anyway, consistency is very important. I would say have a calendar, like a game plan, a strategy of like who you're, you, you want to know before you make your plan, you want to know who's your demographic, like who's your target audience, because that depends when you post, what social medias you're spending most of your time on, um, how, what content looks like, um, like how your content, like d does your target audience like it, enjoy it, vibe with it. So I would say know your target audience, have a calendar, and get ready to be consistent. And if you can, schedule beforehand, because that will help you a lot. Because I go through mine and I try to schedule monthly, but I also do check it daily just to make sure something didn't post correctly. Um, and I couldn't imagine creating content and checking all my other socials daily. So I just like have one day where I'm just like, I buckle down, and I do one client per day. Like in the like the last week of, like the last week, let's say of May, I'm gonna do all my clients in the last week of May for the next month. So that's what I do. And so that's just before I start talking about the days for my strategy. So my first strategy is we're gonna start Sunday. Um, so I post. I do like, I'm a very big mental health advocate. So I want it like, I want people to understand that it's not weird, it's normal to know about it and to be reminded about, you know, take time for yourself, you know, because if you're down in the dumps and if you're struggling, you can't really continue doing anything because you won't be productive or any of that. So I, I'm a very big mental health advocate. So I'm learning more about it myself. And at the same time, every Sunday, I do a, a mental health post, like either if it's a mental health checklist check or checklist really just anything to like make my audience know that I care about them because I really do I want everyone like everyone deserves to have good mental health and be right with themselves and just be you know confident and all that so that's that I also do a story on whatever topic or post I do um, Monday I do like motivational Monday because I need motivation some days and I know I can help my audience with that as well so I make a post that's either a motivational quote or like motivational anything I also do an Instagram reel about motivation so I can also get farther that also increases my reach because you know even if I do a bad reel I get 200 people views which is pretty good um, considering I have like 16 followers on my that haven't been building my business one yet so that's pretty good um, Tuesday I don't think I post Tuesday oh wait this is July yeah Tuesdays I don't post at all that's kind of like what if I if I have something to post I'll post it if if I don't I won't it's not something that I'm worried about so I post I said this before but I post like 
five to five times a week on my on my Instagram and obviously whatever I do on Instagram I do on Facebook too um, I don't really change it I should but I don't because my target audience is on both so I kind of curate toward more towards Instagram but yeah that's just whatever anyway Wednesday is called educational Wednesday so that's when I try to like tell people like tell my audience about like what I do for social media marketing either if it's a blog or just explaining like a quick strategy or quick tips on reels or quick tips on anything really on your making your TikToks on it could be even like linking like hey I listen to this podcast check it out if you want to know about a B and C kind of thing and yeah so it's just like educating my my audience uh, and keeping them like because I want them to know you know I want them to have the tools that I have and the knowledge that I have so everyone can grow and flourish um, so that's something that I I do want my audience to have is the same things I have I don't want to be on it I don't want to hide stuff because I think that's stupid if you know information that can help people in their business why not help them um, and at the same time, if like if I'm telling them this, like for client wise, they're like, oh, he knows it. Um, he's like, and they if they read all the tips, they could know it too. They just still don't. You can know something and not know how to approach it still. So I think it's it's not like you're not like you don't have to be worried about giving away your secret recipe because some people don't even have time to do the socials. So. You don't have to, I, I'm not worried about like someone taking my business or like me not like, like, like hiding. I'm not, I'm not going to hide what I know. Well, as you can tell, I'm explaining my, I'm breaking out my Instagram strategy right now. And there's no payment for this. I know some of you thought that, but anyway, moving on to Thursday. Thursday, I do something called engaging Thursday on my, um, calendar because that's when I try to drive a lot of engagement with my community either it's like it could be anything coffee or tea like something just like ask them about themselves so I can like engage in conversation with my audience and talk to them and grow those relationships I also do a poll on my Instagram story um, sometimes if I like it enough I'll do a reel on it like if it's something I think is funny or you know people can find funny like the comment section I'll do it um so that's so right now I have mental health motivation which helps my help my audience both of them help my audience personally um education I help try to inform people on what I know um engaging I try to talk to them I try to be there um grow relationships just talk to people kind of thing and then Friday, I also do like nothing. That's a no that's the other day I do nothing. I because I feel like everyone's going out to party, so I'm not gonna really waste a lot. <sighs> Saying that, I do post on Saturdays, but that's more like relaxing Saturdays. Like I post, I believe, I don't know if I post 12 or 10. Anyway, like midday. So hopefully they're not drinking and drunk yet. Um, that's like relaxing Saturdays. So basically, I can just say like anything, like hey, like kind of be personable on this day. Like hey, how you doing? Um, I'm what basically I'm on the beach. What are you doing today? Like how are you spending your Saturday? Or like don't forget to take time for yourself. Don't forget to rest. It's okay. Um, and just kind of like I guess more of like a motivational mental health like com combination kind of thing. Like just remind people that it's okay to take time for yourself. It's okay to rest. It's okay to you don't have to be grinding 100% of the time. Like, it's okay to just take time so you don't get burnt out and all that. And also, like, also it gives me an opportunity to be there for my audience, which I do want to be. Um, and, yeah, I'm just, like, so I basically have, like, two days of, like, really growing relationships with my my audience. I have one day of, like, educating and then two days of, like, personally just like giving them help like the mental the mental health and motivation like trying to get them through this you know this world because this world can be kind of annoying sometimes and just a lot to handle so that's basically what I do on social media on Instagram and Facebook if you want to know what else I do um, I do a lot I do LinkedIn I do TikTok I do medium and YouTube and those are all scheduled throughout the 
week as well. So if you want me to do more about different platforms, like what you're interested in knowing about or learning about, or just even just knowing what someone else does. Because I'm not I'm not an expert yet, but I'm I'm learning and I'm taking you guys up, up with me on my journey of learning social media marketing and being the best marketer ever. So yeah. But yeah, if you guys want to know more what I do and how I do my social medias and how I handle that and also how I manage them. I did change like how I organize and manage my social medias a little bit. I kind of separated them from personal and business, which I didn't do in the past, but it was kind of like, it was kind of, I was kind of struggling. So I, I have Asana for like personal to do's and like personal growth, like what I want to do, like habits I want to form and all that. And then I have ClickUp, which is, I use the online version. I don't use the desktop version. And that's like all my, social me all my the business social medias and all my clients social medias and what I need to do so I kind of separated business and personal life because I want to make sure I'm not missing any of them like business or personal life so yeah I guess that's it for my Instagram and what I do I mean I also oh there's something I want to add I'll add it now I want to start doing Instagram lives at least once a month or twice a month so I get on the IGTV um as well so if you guys have any topics for instagram lives that i could do i would love to i want to do some q a's just talk to people um and that's really it to be honest and i also want to do it my personal as well and that would just be like just talking to people hanging out and yeah that's one thing i want to add to it and there's also some things like i do post that i don't talk about like i post them when i when i post uh video on my YouTube, I do make a post about it. When I make a blog on Medium, I do make a post about it. When I have a van update, uh, that's my personal, but I do make a post about it. So there are some things that I do make posts about. Like when I, I'm gonna clients, when like I wanna showcase a client, I'll do that randomly. Those are like on my Tuesdays and Fridays, really, to fill in the dead space. But like, I do do more than five a, a week, but that's all I schedule is five a week. So it also gives me flexibility and like, okay, I need to post this, but I don't want to double post on a day or I don't want to cause, you know, just random stuff. So yeah, I mean, I have to, that's it really on what I do for Instagram and what I would like to do more on Instagram and Facebook. But if you guys have any tips for me or anything comments concerns whatever uh let me know and if you guys enjoyed hit that follow button hit that like button subscribe button whatever and you also can see some of my socials in my description i will have my personal socials down there i'll probably forget to add my business socials but if i do i will and that's basically it so i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to leave a comment on what if you want to see me do a different social media on what I do, let me know which one or any topic from SEO to making a making an Instagram profile. So let me know and I'll catch you later.